All right, so I actually have a little bit of good news here for you guys as the Keystone XL pipeline, which has been really one of the most publicized and controversial environmental projects over the last decade has officially been canceled. So I'm going to read you some of the quotes here and some of the details from exactly how this happened. But really, it was just because of tireless, relentless organizing against uh, this pipeline in from all the way from Canada all the way down to the United States. It was a pipeline that was going to bring extremely dirty tar sands from Canada all the way through the United States down towards Mexico. And um, this was really just because of organizers that stopped this from happening, uh, literally protesting over multiple administrations from uh, Obama's where it primarily took place to Trump to uh, Biden. And then Biden actually took the initial step to cancel the pipeline. But here are some of the details. So Keystone, Keystone XL is dead after 10 year battle. Climate movement victory is complete. Quote, Keystone XL is now the most famous fossil fuel project killed by the climate movement. That sounds amazing. I love that, said one veteran campaigner, but it won't be the last. And of course, it won't be the last. But here's what they say. After more than a decade of grassroots organizing, agitation, and tireless opposition by the international climate movement, the final nail was slammed into the Keystone XL's coffin Wednesday afternoon when the company behind the transnational tar sands pipeline officially pulled the plug on its plans. Following consultation with Canadian officials and regulators, including its partner, the government of Alberta, TC Energy confirmed its termination of the project in a state statement citing the revocation of a federal U.S. permit by President Joe Biden on his first day in office on January 20th uh, as the leading reason. So, you know, credit to Joe Biden where it's due. This is the bare fucking minimum that you could possibly do in, in regards to the environment and tackling climate change, uh, not building ridiculously polluting uh, tar sands oil pipelines uh, that are going to carry things that are going to destroy local environments. They ran through indigenous communities. Um, just absolutely, obviously a terrible thing. So credit to Joe Biden on actually taking this action. But again, it's really the bare minimum that he could. And I'm going to show you a story here in a minute um, that is an example of how this fight is ongoing and how Joe Biden is still on the wrong side of a lot of these things. But credit to him for doing the absolute bare minimum there. They continue, climate campaigners, however, were immediate in claiming a final victory after years of struggle against the company and its backers, both in Washington, D.C. and Ottawa. They say, quote, TC Energy just confirmed what we already knew, but it's a thrilling reality all the same. The Keystone XL pipeline is no more and never will be, um, said David Turnbull. So, yeah, I mean, this is amazing. We got a bunch of quotes here from activists and organizers that uh, were a part of this. So here's just one of them. They say, Jamie Henn and Bill McKibben, both co-founders of the 350.org and key architects of the decision to make the Keystone XL pipeline a target and symbol of the global climate movement, also heralded the news. Uh, when this fight began, people thought big oil couldn't be beat, said McKibben, who was amongst those who was arrested outside the White House in 2011. Uh, and he says, quote, Keystone pipeline, uh, Keystone XL is now the most famous fossil fuel project killed by the climate movement but it won't be the last. The same coalition that stopped this pipeline is now battling line three and dozens of other fossil fuel projects across the country. Biden did the right thing on uh, Keystone Pipeline. Now it's time to go a step further and say no, say no to all new fossil fuel projects everywhere. And so this line three that he just quoted in that piece is this one. We just saw a viral video that came out the other day and I don't know if they included it in this article. Yeah, it's right here. We can actually just go ahead and take a look at this because this was the Department of Homeland Security using one of their helicopters to attack protesters who th this is there this huge cloud of gas that you see this huge cloud of dust right here that this uh this uh, department of homeland security helicopter is kicking up th there are protesters in the middle of this okay so they were intentionally low flying a helicopter um strafing over this area to kick up dust for people that were chaining themselves to equipment in, in an act of protest against this pipeline that they were building so again not only is this clearly wrong and egregious in what they're doing, but this is also illegal. This is against FAA regulations. Whoever the pilot is uh, on that helicopter should be barred from ever flying a, a helicopter again, and uh, they should probably be criminally charged because, again, this is illegal. You, you can't actually do this. Um, but again, they do it, obviously, under the Joe Biden administration with the Department of Homeland Security and Border Patrol acting with basically complete impunity. So again, this is a fight that is continuing and ongoing, but here are some of the details about that. So they say, the largest civil disobedience yet ag against new pipeline construction in Minnesota Soda was met by furious response and a cloud of debris. A Department of Homeland Security Border Patrol helicopter descended on the protest against the Enbridge Line 3 tar sands pipeline, kicking up dust and showering demonstrators with sand in an unusual attempt to disperse the crowd. So, I mean, listen, this is the type of thing that they are still doing. So again, when they say it's an ongoing fight, it's literally still an ongoing fight happening right now, uh, so we can't be complacent at all. But this is, again, good news, a little bit of rare good news that I have on this channel. Um, but yeah, the Keystone XL pipeline is officially dead, and it's really just proof that with tireless organizing, activism, and uh, fighting relentlessly in protest, uh, good things actually can happen if we collectively mobilize to make them happen.